Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today I have for you a guide to starting out as the Greenskins. If you're just kind of not really sure how to start out, or you just want to see how other people do it, this might be for you. Stick around. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and start out as Grimgore Ironhide here. It's either him or Azag, or Ozhok, whoever, however the hell you pronounce his name. But he's definitely one of the stronger of the two. At least I like his starting units a lot better than Ozog's. So let's go ahead and start the campaign as him. Dif difficulty, I'm going to keep on normal. Uh, that's just kind of the default for me, at least. And yeah, let's go ahead and start the campaign, shall we? Alrighty. So, when you're starting out, you'll first get a quest to defeat an army belonging, belong belonging to the following faction in battle, the Red Fangs. You need some money for it. So we're actually going to do that first. It's The army's right here. Here's your army. You've got Black Orcs, Orc Boys, Goblins, Goblin Archers, Orc Boar Boys, and a Doom Diver Catapult. So we're actually going to do that, but before that, let's first build... always want to build a boss's tent first, at least in my opinion. Getting, getting, getting obedience, you know, up and running, and just, you know, not having your people rebel against you is generally a good idea. So we're gonna help go ahead and build that, and then we're gonna build upgrade or upgrade rather the brawling grounds, and then let's go ahead and smash this enemy here. And it's gonna be a pretty quick battle here, but I'll go ahead and fight it for you guys. Show you at least some tactics starting out, some basic tactics at least the way I like to go about things. Usually works out pretty well. Alrighty, so so as you can see, we've got my army here, and the enemy. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Here and the enemy's army is over here on this hill. I'll go ahead and just gonna set them up in a pretty basic formation here. Put some. Let's see here. Yeah, these guys kind of just all my melee units up front, like here, since I don't really have multiples of anything. They're actually it's all singles. Uh, can't really really too too much. I could actually let's do it this way. So my art with my spearmen here, my goblins, the more expendable ones here. And so let's go ahead and put the other two, the more heavier units, or the boar boys and the black orcs, to the side as f to flank. Uh, my archers in the back here to do that. Always gotta have my general in the center. Put the boar boys uh, on this side over here to flank wide around, and put the doom diver catapult right there. Go and start the battle. And are they going to move forwards? They are. So, what are we gonna, what they're gonna do? Okay, then now they're they on. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just move forwards here. I'm gonna speed this up a bit. I'm gonna fast forward it just to kind of get through it a bit faster so this video is not terribly long. But... Alright. So what we're actually going to do here is I'm going to send my goblins, my, you know, my, the expendable, the expendable units, essentially, here. I'm going to send these guys over here and these guys over here. And you guys are going to start running. You guys are actually going to be in skirmish mode to help them survive, and you guys are going to stop right, or you should, just stop right there where you are. I should have, shouldn't have actually had them move. Oh well, that was a bit of a mistake. All right, now you guys can start running. You guys can just start going that way. You guys can run this way, and you guys can start going that way. And they're going to start firing, and you guys can start running there. And you're gonna flank around. Well, the Boar Boys come around to the back here, take out the archers, take on the archers at least rather, and you, while you do that. This is definitely one of the. This is kind of a, a basic surrounding flank and surround tactics here. So my archers got the archers there. These archers are firing there. Boar Boys are just massacring those foes, foes, folks. Folks or foes, anyways. There. And let's go ahead and send my boar boys over there. These guys are fine doing what they are. Whoops, nope, I didn't want that. Just do that. Yeah. Yeah, you always want to kind of make sure you keep your cavalry running. Keep them, keep them moving around. Keep them destroying everything. 
<laughs> and this battle should will wind up pretty quickly here. Let's go ahead and actually send my archers over there. You guys just keep finishing off those. Let's send the goblins over here, kind of just to, you know, now now they now they're pinned in between. They've got two enemies in between them. Let's just send the war. Almost done here. Just gotta get those guys to route. All right, so it should be over relatively quickly here. All right, and we got the victory. So that was a pretty simple, quick battle. But at least you guys got an idea of what's going on. Now, as you can see, I only lost 94 versus him losing 223. It's a very big difference. Now, he does have 292 remaining. I probably could have stuck it around and just you know, wiped him out a little more. But for the sake of the video and the sake of kind of moving things along, I'm not going to. So, my units are actually pretty well up. They're not very, you know, they haven't taken a whole lot of hits, except for these two, but I'm not really too worried. So, I'm not going to actually eat the captives. I'm actually going to slaughter them for leadership. I don't really need money right now, because the way I'm going to be building my buildings, <laughs> um, money really shouldn't be an issue. Not only that, but I'm also getting a thousand gold from this mission. And next, they're having me capture Iron Rock over here, but I really do want to take care of this army real quick. But before I do any of that, I'm going to actually recruit more units. I'm going to get another Boar Boys, and let's see here. Let's see, how many can I make in one turn? Okay, three. So let's go ahead and get, uh, yeah, two Boar Boys and a Goblin. So just, just one turn. I don't need to do anything else. I just need like a few more units just to kind of make sure it's not too close of a battle. So let's go ahead. I can't make anything with my Goblin Workshop yet. I haven't built that unit, built that building yet um, with the Orcs. Got two units. Turn one. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Skill point. I always forget about those. Uh, when you're leveling up your Lord, another thing you want to definitely... I would suggest is get... Well, number one, get Route Monster. Have, being able to move your army farther is definitely a big thing. But first and foremost, though, you want to make your general a good general before you make him a good warrior if you if he if you make him a good general and you know your units aren't going to run as easily you will win much more battles than just making him a better warrior while you know your <laughs> your troops still run anyways so let's go ahead and end the turn now now that I actually can and they're gonna come back I'm gonna try fighting again. They have a second army now. We're actually gonna run, retreat, because we don't want to fight both of them at the same time. That's for sure. And let's go and try. Let's try recruiting one more time here. So they're just still doing that. Although actually, let's let's move them back to our borders. That way, at least we're a little bit closer. And recruit again. There we go. Alright, let's try, let's try that again then, shall we? You definitely don't want to fight a battle you can't win. And they're just gonna keep coming at me, okay. Alright, so let's, let's stay back there then. This has gone on long enough. Okay, so now I can make goblin archers. So yeah, that, yeah, okay. So now I can make these, make extra units, the goblin archers and the goblin orc, orc horror boys. Uh, since the construction finish on, what was it? The Brawling Grounds, that's right. So, let's actually get another one. Let's actually get one of each. That's actually a better balance of things. And hopefully this time we can actually, you know, go for a turn without getting double teamed. Alright, so we actually did it. We're going to move all, we're moving up there, and another one of those, there's two more of those, and another, uh, no, another goblin archer. Do that, still can't do anything there, still can't build anything, end the turn real quick. And next turn, I should, I feel confident enough to attack Iron Rock. Yep, yeah. alright, let's go for it. So I can't quite get to it. And it's like they're down there. So actually what I'm gonna what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna be focusing on these red fangs first. And defeating them is definitely because the dwarves, at least on my last playthrough, 
the dwarves really didn't bother you for a while. Let's see here. Capturing occupied stone that belong to any of the following enemies of the scabby eye. Oh, okay, so I have to so okay, so for this mission I have to attack the dwarves or Barak Far, which is another faction of dwarves. But I don't really want to do that. I really don't want to piss off the dwarves yet. I'd rather just focus on the other orc factions, such as the Red Fangs. Um, now, actually, for this battle, since it's the bar is so drastically in my favor, I'm just going to auto-resolve it. And you see, I lose almost nothing. Lost 44, and he lost 720. It's, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. But actually, I don't actually want to sack or loot and occupy, because the... Pretty much, it's because of the conquest penalty. Yeah, I'll get more money, you know, initially, but in the long run, just occupying it and, you know, building it up will make me much more money in the long run. And it just makes it much less difficult. So I'm just going to occupy it. So I captured it, got some more money with from that. And I can level up him again. Let's go ahead and get route mergers okay, so I can move my army a little faster. You can shut up there. And, let's see, win the bottle at, ah, uh, yes. These will come up on occasion, these quests for, uh, special battles, I suppose. So, actually, what we're gonna do is we actually have a pretty, we have a pretty decent army, actually. Yeah, so we're actually gonna go ahead and just fight that battle right now. Or at least, well, next turn, rather. So, can we build anything? Alright, we can upgrade Iron Rock, so we're gonna do that. And, alright, we're gonna end the turn. And see what happens. What do you got there, Bloody Spears? What? What do you want? Non-aggression pack. That's fine. That's fine. I don't really care. You guys are like, wait. Eventually, I'm gonna want this. I'm gonna want the Kurag drawn, since it's the last settlement. But, for now, I'm not too worried. So, actually, the battle... Balance of power is pretty half and half. As you can see, you got two things of dwarves here. We've got some gyrocopters, and then the rest are actually pretty not kind of just meh. They got some dwarf warriors, and they got some grudge throwers, and etc. etc. But I have a tactic here that you guys you guys are gonna like this one. This is gonna be fun. All right. So as you can see, we actually have two different places that we can uh, deploy our troops. So what we're gonna actually going to do is I'm going to put all of my orc boys... Should I...? Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting all my orc boys over here. You guys are going to be facing that way. Or facing facing the correct, correct way. You... Eh, it should be over here. That works. My or goblin archers... Be right there. You two... Be right there. You guys will be right behind him. What are you? Uh, goblin. Oh, yes. Not the goblin. <laughs> the orc boar boys. I swear I can't pronounce some of these some of these things. And, alright. So we got a pretty basic formation here. Let's go ahead and set up the goblin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is fine. I can set them up here. They're... they're uh, yeah, with the way of the tactics I'm going to be um, employing here, they should be pretty safe right there. Because uh, I'm just going to be rushing, essentially, on both sides. So let's go ahead and get this started. Let's pause it real quick. Let's tell them to fire... Yes, do we have anything like extra? Yeah, hammer. Yeah, fire on the hammer infantry. You guys are going to go this way, and you, including you, are going to go that way. And so he does have two uh, Quarreler Missile Imagery, and he does have the Grudge Throwers, but let's wait. actually I have them charge. So actually, let's go ahead and go. Let's go move these guys up slightly, just enough they can start attacking. Let's put them in skirmish mode, of course. It's probably relatively wise, but almost always put your archers in skirmish mode. Of course, there's, I'm sure there's instances where you might not want to, but as a general rule, I like to. What are you guys doing? Come on. Where are you? You go there. And you. 
go here. You guys hurry up. I'm actually go ahead and fast forward this battle a little bit. As soon as my orc boar boys, not my orc boar boys, <laughs> oh, I forgot about them actually. Wow, I feel idiots. I actually completely forgot about them. You guys go there, you guys go there. You guys just smash into the back there, you guys smash into the back there. And that's going to be the battle base, pretty much. I'm gonna actually going to lose a good bit of troops here because I kind of messed up with the Orc Boar Boys and I didn't really utilize them quite as much as I needed to. But it's not the end of the world. I'm still going to end up winning. Because I'm pretty much, I've just got them, these dwarfs trapped. They're not going to get anywhere. And their two archer units are up against the wall here. Yeah. You guys go there. You guys can go there. Actually, nah. Yep, now they're there, so now. Well, let's see. You guys can go there. The boar boys, on the other hand, you guys can actually smash into the back of those. Back of these corollers. This missile infantry. Kind of break them, hopefully. Yeah, that should break their lines. Yep. You go over there. And then you guys are just gonna fuck us over there. And the battle is almost over. Yeah, my, if I had one thing I should have done differently, it was first of all make use of my orc boar boys earlier. I hadn't forgotten about them. It's, but secondly, Definitely. Okay, what's going on here? Are right, you guys go over here? You guys go after the axe infantry. Looks like my archer is actually gonna take down those, take down the gyrocopters for the most part. He's just gonna keep smashing face over here, but Grimgore. And yeah, still got those. But, as you can see, battle's pretty much over. But yeah, I did I did take heavy casualties in this battle, so I will be eating the captives. <laughs> That's for certain. Alright, so that's a victory for us. Let's go ahead and end the battle. And get going here. Alrighty, with that complete, let's go ahead and eat the captives and replenish my units by 10%. Yeah, every little bit helps. I won that battle, got the gambler's armor, and I got a goblin big boss. Let's go ahead and find out where the hell he is. Where are you? There you are, okay. I got you, I got you. So let's go ahead and send him down south here. Got my army here. Let's go ahead and level him up. Let's get the Du Bois. Get my other units melee, a big, better melee attack, rather. Let's go ahead and make sure he's got the armor equipped, for starters, and that's all I can do. Let's go ahead and move him that way. This is still being constructed, so let's end the turn. And let's move down here. Well, let's see here. Mm, that's that's true. I do have a peace non aggression pact. Yeah. I don't really want to break that immediately right now. I do want that town though. So let's actually well, yeah, let's not mess with them quite yet. If it was earlier on Depending on what happened, if you hadn't done the non-aggression pact, I probably would just go ahead and take that and be like, hey, I just want that, back off. But, I did make the non-aggression pact, and I don't really feel like going to war with them right now. I really want to focus on the Red Fangs. So let's go ahead and ass let's, uh, let's try assassinating. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. 
Go ahead and uh, recruit some more. A few more of those. Two more of those. I have three. I think that's enough for now, at least. Go ahead and end the turn. Go ahead and end the turn. Crooked Fang Fort. Alright. Well, going that way anyways. That's fine. But first, I really need to take care of Valeria's Sorrow. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and send my guy over there. Hey, I got it! Okay, cool. He successfully did it, he leveled up. And let's go ahead and start him out on the spy... Spy, <laughs> spy skill tree. And we'll send him over here. Let's go ahead and two attack there. He's like, yeah, yeah, I've got a big enough army. Nothing else. Oh, okay, I can do this. So I have a boss's tent. But as you can see here, with the obedience... Current minus four. Let's see here. It's not really going anywhere. I don't really need a pile of shiny stuff yet. So, let's see here. I don't actually even need this because I do have the one here. So actually, let's go ahead and demolish this one. Let's build. I kind of want to build a goblin watchtower actually, just in case I do get. Attacked. I don't think it's going to do a whole lot, though. Yeah. So. Let's actually build. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's a zero. It's not going anywhere. So let's go ahead and just build an idol. And then next, then when this is destroyed, I can then build either a pile of shiny stuff or. Yeah, I'll build a pile of shiny stuff then. So let's go ahead and attack there next turn. And let's end the turn. Alrighty, so everything's done here. Let's go and build a pile of shiny stuff. Or actually, I could build a wolf den to get goblin wolf riders, actually. Or, uh, let's see here. Need surplus two. I've got one, one surplus already, and I got five turns. I don't need it at the moment, so let's go ahead and build a pile of shiny stuff. I can upgrade this for a thousand, that's fine. Now uh, let's go ahead and take out Valeria's Sorrow. And we'll go ahead and fight this one out. Alrighty, so... Where is the enemy? Can't actually see them. Hmm. What's this? I guess it's just a brazer. Anyways, back to more important things. Back to the task at hand, at least. I don't see where they are, so let's go ahead and just set up in a pretty standard formation here. Let's take all of them, let's line them up here, let's just get everyone out of the way here so I can see what's going on. But let's go ahead and line these guys up in front, no, 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 let's actually, let's actually do it this way. Let's th two teams of three, one here, one here, these guys in the center, once again the flanking tactics, these guys off to the side. Pretty, pretty, just basically, basic standard things here. Now the op archers here, actually, put them up front and then put them in skirmish mode. That way, when they get into range, they'll start firing, but then they will fall back. Put these here, and whoop, put these here. There. And a little more center there. That works. And let's put the boar boys just way out here. And, of course, got to put the general. On occasion, I do forget that. And let's go ahead and start the battle. Find out where they are. Okay, so here, here, it looks like they got a pretty standard formation, just like mine. So you got the goblins on the side here, so let's go ahead. We're going to just kind of start moving forward here. Whoop. Nope, I didn't want you guys. You guys can stop, actually. <laughs> Not you. Go ahead and keep firing. Do what you're doing. What are you doing? I don't know. Right here. Alright. Then move them slightly at an angle. Slightly at an angle. I'm going to just move these guys up too. Oh, 
basically, yeah, you guys are just going to move forward. You guys are actually going to stop right there. Because you'll be in range soon enough. You guys can go out wide. You guys can go right here. You guys can go right there. I was going to just pause it so I can do the same orders for these guys. And pretty much kind of... Uh, you kind of want to... Have them... Going... At an angle where they kind of just naturally encompass the enemy. Is kind of the idea. So let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's wolf riders. I'm not going to catch them. There, 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 there. You guys there. You guys there. Send you guys back there, actually. You guys go there. And actually, you guys are going to charge the archers. Because you got behind. Actually, you guys can attack there. I'm pretty much going to have my boar boys just kind of charge through the goblin archers here. Just one after the other. Not really stopping. Just just constantly charging. Break them up. Force them to not, you know, <laughs> not be sitting there firing. I'm pretty much just going to keep them moving. You guys are going to help those guys out over there. Looks like the battle is going pretty much as I wanted it to. Yep, they almost, yep that's what I thought. Alright, where's my boar boys? Okay, they're running. That's great. Come on, nope, nope, nope. Don't go that way. So they're going to do that. But the problem with putting the weak little goblins in the center is that they generally going to get their ass kicked. But now I can, though, come crashing down from the sides to the center with my heavier units. And let's just hope this actually works. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit embarrassing. Yeah, this is going to work. I might take... I'm going to take some heavy unit, heavy casualties here, but... Yeah, it's, this will work. Just, it might take a hot second. Let's go ahead and just rush forward through this a little bit. So I got know where my, all my units are. Okay. They're there, they're there. Yeah. This ain't pretty. It's not, it's not a pretty battle. I'm not gonna lie. Where are you? Okay. It's going to go there. Where are you guys? Oh, you guys are still... Okay. Doing that. Okay, so it looks like I pretty much... Despite the heavy casualties... Pretty much actually have this one. Although I definitely could have done my tactics a little better. I probably, I really, yeah, I definitely should have put these orc boys in the center while having the goblins flank around to the side. That would have been a much smarter idea. But, well, live and learn, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead. Looks like almost, almost good here. Yep, you guys go over there. You guys just kind of help finish up here. Are they guys still running around? No, you're not. Okay. Let's go ahead and just put this back into normal. The normal speed. Yeah. Send those over there. Send those right there. Hopefully I can end this pretty quickly. Where are you guys? Okay, you guys are doing that way. Maybe. You're pretty tired, aren't you? Yeah, you're very tired. 
That's all right. That's all right. Where are you? Here you are. Break those guys real quick, will you, please? Come on. All right, let's go ahead and actually bring my general back. I don't want him getting killed. That would be bad. That would be very bad. Hey, you guys are fresh. Just fucking charge those motherfuckers. All right. You guys are winded. And that's basically the battle. Yep. All righty. So we got heavy casualties, but we did win at the end of the day. It could have been done a little better, but I suppose it kind of worked out slightly. Yeah, for a victory, whatever that means. Probably means horrible. <laughs> In Orc or just Warhammer? I don't know. And anyways, let's go ahead and occupy that. Where's... No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Didn't get the option to. Well... So that's actually, from here, I'm actually going to go and just talk it out for you guys, because I'm actually asking about uh, enough of the actual gameplay that I'm going to show you. Uh, from here, basically kind of go with the same strategy when taking over taking over other settlements. Uh, you know, focus on, focus on keeping them happy first with the boss's tent, then move on to expansion, then move on to money. Uh, the money will always come with uh, everything else so long as you take care of the more important things first. Um, you could, or you could, you really, you could even kind of switch out. Um, you could build uh, shiny stuff first and then build a totem pole to grow, or the other, you know, the other buildings from other factions that apply to this, uh, you know, to what I'm talking about here. And, uh, yeah, just what I would suggest is taking over the other factions of your race initially uh, if you can um, at least that's what I do with the orcs uh, you know same probably the same concept with the vampire accounts although I do generally go after the humans uh, you know pretty much the same old same old but that's pretty much a good strong start from here you can take your army after you uh, after you <laughs> let it heal up a bit you can go south to the crooked fang fort here might even make war the crooked moon or you could actually take it, take it, uh, real quick, and go after Karak Eight Peaks here. Uh, take out their one settlement, which I believe this is their last settlement, uh, their only settlement. But yeah, they only have one settlement. It's the one right there. So you could even take over Karak Eight Peaks. Um, pardon me. And then after that, go after Crooked Fang Fort, uh, et cetera, et cetera, Valeria Sorrow, which I already own right here. And from there, work your way south. That's what I like to do. Work your way south, take out everything down here, and then maybe work your way east, uh, then north. Kind of just uh, slowly take everything out while trying to kind of maintain peace up on the north side here. Uh, one of the last things I like to do, not until I have a much stronger army, is just take on the dwarves, as they're just, well, they're kind of a pain in the ass to fight. So, anyways, that's what I would suggest doing. Um... At least that's that's my game plan when I play the when I play the orcs. So, anyways, I guys, I hope you enjoy the guide, uh, quote unquote, or just kind of just a walkthrough and kind of see what happens in the beginning here. Uh, please, if you enjoyed it, leave me a comment down below. Or just leave a like and well, if you want to see more content, because uh, let me tell you, there will be more content coming out. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. As always, till next time, guys. Have a good day.